What if, 20 years from now, robots walk the streets alongside humans, doing many of the same jobs that you and I do today? There is no question for Ethiopian developer Jetnet Asefa that artificial intelligence makes this a reality. Asefa is a scientist and co-founder of an artificial intelligence research space in Addis Ababa. ICOG was part of a team of scientists that developed the software for Sophia, the world's first humanoid robot. My dreams are more aspirational than like your unconscious cinema, but I think that as my artificial intelligence develops, my mind will be online for longer and longer periods of time. Sophia has even learned some Amharic, the developers say. Designed with high cheekbones and a slender nose, the robot, who is also a citizen of Saudi Arabia, can display 60 types of facial expressions and carry a conversation. Yet, few people know that Ethiopia, one of Africa's fastest growing economies, is home to a team of developers that worked in collaboration with its creator, Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics. We have a part in developing of world leading uh, robots in emotional and expressive, we call this Sophia robots. She got also citizen from Saudi Arabia. We have a major development paths in that. We are building the world leading AI blockchain platforms. We call this singularitynet.io. We are a core participant of this one. So I can say that we are in the leading age of AI and uh, blockchain. But nobody thinks that this image is true. Nobody thinks that this is the reality. ICOG has customers in the United States, Canada, Hong Kong and China, and at home, works with the government on software and hardware development. As ever says, artificial intelligence and other kinds of innovation, given the right support, could give Ethiopia the push it needs to catch up and bypass other countries. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, in part since March this year, has already promised major economic reforms his government says are designed to unleash the potential of the private sector. While internet access remains amongst the lowest in the region, Asefa sees more opportunity than ever before under the leadership of Prime Minister Abiy. Dr. Abiy is from IT background, so I think he will understand what type of problem we will face. So I hope within a year or two, three years, things will be changed, definitely. And I mean, we are even seeing that one of our problems is internet connection. <laughs> we are paying a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for having a very small internet connection that we can't even see video. And yesterday, it's, everything is changed. We now can have a double internet connection. This is one example that we are we are seeing that. The company is currently working with high schools and universities across the country to introduce computer science and help create a generation that is ready to operate in the new age of AI. If a kid in, in uh, Gambella, if he creates software and he wants to expand it to across the, the Africa or Ethiopia, how you evaluate that software? How much that software works? Is this the next Snapchat or the next Facebook? How did you evaluate that one? There is no way of evaluating such type of software in Ethiopia. To get loan, to get fund, or to, to have some sponsor or funding or, or some sort. That's what I'm saying. If you go investment office, there is no incentive for software. In 2016, a World Economic Forum report that disruptive labor market changes including the rise of robots and artificial intelligence, will result in a net loss of 5.1 million jobs over the next five years in 15 leading countries. Some researchers say there is no need to panic and that AI will never advance to human levels, but it is expected to create a growing demand for certain skilled workers, including data analysts. 